please rise for the Pledge to the Flag. Good morning, Cedar Crest. It's Wednesday, February 1st. I'm Andy Gerhardt. And I'm Jordan Brown. Coming up, yet another fun fact with one of the King of Hearts members. Which King of Hearts member reads comic books? The answer will be revealed later in the show. And tomorrow is Groundhog Day. Just how accurate is Punxsutawney Phil? Kyle will tell you in another edition of The Lab. We'll be right back with all of your school news. Friday, February 3rd is National Wear Red Day and the Falcon Perch is holding a cup of care from 8 to 10 a.m. All proceeds will benefit the American Heart Association. All classes must pre-order form today and collect the money before the drinks are delivered tomorrow. There's a summer field camp for students interested in, career, in a career in conservation or ecology. The Wildlife Leadership Academy will empower you to become a conservation ambassador in order to learn about sustaining wildlife, fisheries, and other natural resources for future generations. The Academy hosts a five-day residential summer fields camps in various parts of the state. Stop in the counseling office for more information. So in club news, the Falcon Threads has a lot of consignment, clothing, shoes, and jewelry. The store is open during activity period, and today is having a big sale on items for $1. All items are $1. The store is open every Wednesday during activity periods and every day from 7.30 to 7.45. The store is located by the new gym. All NHS members, today's meeting will be held in the LGI. There will be no pep club today. Officers only meet in room 202. Big stars, there will be a mandatory meeting next Wednesday, February 8th at 7.30 in the library. At the meeting, you will receive our winter fundraising information and our winter gathering with the Littles. If you cannot make this meeting, please see Mrs. Crispin or Mrs. Eisenberg prior to February 8th. Attention mini -thon committee members. We are meeting in room 604 during activity period today. And hold on. If you, this, this might be the same thing. All right, you know what? Okay. <laughs> In school news, the King of Hearts pep rally will be held on Friday. Please excuse the King of Hearts court from 8th period to prepare. Everyone should wear red. So speaking of King of Hearts, which King of Hearts member reads comic books on the down low? The correct answer is Chris Torres. Here's Chris to talk about his favorite heroes. I am a bit of a comic book nerd. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of DC Comics, big fan of Flash, Barry Allen, you know. Batman, Bruce Wayne. I'd definitely say the most underrated um, superhero is my boy Ollie Queen, you know, Green Arrow, this stellar guy. This is the last King of Hearts update. In first place is Elliot Knapp. Jackson Kelly is in second. Patrick Finley is in third. In twelfth place is Willie Howard. Eleventh is Chris Siosos. And in tenth is Colin May. All money is due by the end of school on Thursday. The total amount raised by the court will be announced at the pep rally on Friday. This Friday, everyone should wear red for the King of Hearts pep rally, but you can also wear a hat. Two students are raising money and are in the studio with more information. Hi, my name is Paige Appleby. And I'm Andrew Redder. We are in the Health Careers program over at CTC. Every year our class has chosen to raise money for a cause. This year we chose to raise money for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Friday's February 17th, we will be having a hat day here at Cedar Crest. Please help us raise our goal of $2,500. Now back to the desk. You may be wondering how you can wear a hat. For this, we turn to our resident hat expert. This guy has hundreds of hats, and you can stack them like one another on top of each other, and they'll be taller than the tallest building that you can think of. Dr. Gerner, what's the deal with hat day? Good morning, Falconland. Hey, you can donate one dollar to wear a hat, hat or more if you like. They have already raised five hundred dollars, so we're looking to help them raise their goal up to twenty-five hundred dollars. Every homeroom teacher will be given an envelope for the money, and these can be put in my mailbox so you know where to put them. Stickers will also be given out to students to wear after they have paid to wear their hat. We're looking for any hat, red hats, whatever, gardener's hat, whatever you can wear. My favorite is uh, one that Mrs. McMillan has, the one with horns. 
and uh, love to see that hat again. Anything, let's, let's bring out all kinds of hats. Propellers, ball caps, bowlers, wherever you can find Hat Day on Friday for $1. Let's turn Falconland into Lidsville. You heard of Falconland. Thank you, Dr. Gerner. Now we're going to send it over to Sammy Gerhardt with the sports. <laughs> In sports action, the girls' basketball team kept rolling with a 53-44 win over Hempfield to run their perfect record to 19-0. The boys' basketball team fell to Hempfield 59-41. Blake Thompson had 9, Jaden Melendez and Cole Laney added 7, and Tate Seifert and Logan Horn added 5. For any students interested in joining the track and field team, students in grades 9-12 to 12 interested in joining the track team. The track and field call-out meeting is taking place right now in the old gym. Please stop... Please make sure you stop by in the old gym to pick up the important paperwork that regards the upcoming track and field season. That's all for your sports report. Now back to the desk. Tomorrow is Groundhog Day. Just how accurate is Punxsutawney Phil? Here's Kyle with the answer in a lab. Tomorrow is Groundhog's Day, and as everyone knows, if Punxsutawney Phil doesn't see a shadow, then spring is right around the corner. But if he does, sorry, six more weeks of winter. But how accurate is he? Well, within the last 116 years, Punxsutawney Phil has seen a shadow a hundred times, and in some points, he was downright wrong. Take in 2012, Punxsutawney Phil forecasted six more weeks of winter, but instead we had the fourth warmest winter on record. Plus, he will sometimes see a shadow created by camera flashes, which will sometimes scare him back into his den. With that, he is only correct 39% of the time, so I wouldn't rely on him, I don't think you would. So, let's see if you have to pull your snow gear away early, based on the weather. You're in the lab. Kyle is more accurate than a what? groundhog. That's all for your morning announcements today. I'm Andy Gerhardt. And I'm Jordan Brown. Make it a great day, Cedar Crest. <laughs> <laughs> There's no sunshine.